are just now, and let's talk about our forecast on this. What is it, Friday Eve? Friday yeah. Eve, yes. Yeah. For a second, I thought it was Friday. I got all excited. No, I know. Sorry. Like, sorry. Eve in there. I'm like, oh, Friday. <laughs> a little false positive there. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, today was actually a beautiful Thursday, or Friday Eve, as we like to call right. it. Mm -hmm. It was warm. It was sunny. Nice little breeze. It was a little hot for the time of yeah, year. Yeah, sure. I know you guys aren't complaining. No, no, no. We're a fan of the me. warm weather here. Yeah. <laughs> Bring it. <laughs> Tomorrow will be a lot more like fall, but it's only going to last a short while, and then we're back to near summer-like temperatures again. Let's take you out to what's happening right now. You can see a few raindrops on the camera lens as we look live toward uh, the skyline of Philadelphia here along 16th Street. It is uh, sprinkling just a little bit. Not a ton of rain coming through, but a couple of showers impacting the city right now as a cold front starts to make some progress through the region. And this is really going to usher in some much cooler, cloudier weather starting tomorrow. Tomorrow, well, you haven't needed the sweater or the sweatshirt or the jacket the past few days. Tomorrow, you may want to grab one because we're only going to see temperatures in some spots top out in the 60s. And that's after temperatures today have been well into the 80s. I want to check in on our high temperatures across the Weather Watcher network here. Reports of 80s all across the region. So find your local Weather Watcher and you can see where your area got today. Jerry and Bluebell got to 82. Up in Gilbertsville, Eileen hit 87. Bill in Levittown, 83. Gary in Landenberg at 84. Phil in Chestnut Hill, 83. And mid 80s for Walter and Bill. John Jenkins and Percocy at 82 degrees and Kenneth all the way up to 87 in Willingboro, New Jersey. It's been a bit of a nice day to start and then a bit of a cloudy afternoon as the showers start to push toward the area. We had uh, some clouds move in after fog this morning, breaks of blue sky through the afternoon and photos from our eyewitness weather watchers kind of showing that. I wanted to show you this one shot that I really love from Jenny Jensen showing her cats reclining in the sun. Look at that. Doesn't that look just so comfy? You can take a nap right on the windowsill. This guy is just chilling. He's loving this day with the sun streaming through the windows. And Alan sends this shot of Charlie. He says Charlie feels the storm coming. Looking a little downcast there, Charlie. Maybe he's not a fan of lightning and thunder. Well, doesn't look like we'll have much of that as these storms come through. Let's take a peek at what's happening on Storm Scan 3. The storms are more like showers for now. We're not seeing much in the way of lightning and thunder. More like a line of showers pushing to the south and west of Philadelphia. A secondary line developing to the north, but that has not really grown many legs just yet. So a couple of showers possible in the next few hours in the Poconos. Right now we're seeing a complex of showers over Chester County into Delaware County, Newcastle County, Delaware, and here in Philadelphia picking up just a few little sprinkles. Notice not much lightning with these, but some pockets of steadier rain could slow down the commute just a little bit, perhaps on the turnpike on 202 or even on the Schuylkill Expressway. So future weather showing again, not a ton, possibly another line of showers developing north and west around eight or nine o'clock, maybe a brief downpour in the Lehigh Valley around 9. If that line, that second line gets its act together, it's looking a little anemic right now. By 10 o'clock, we can see a few showers near the city. And then by midnight, these are out of here. Doesn't look like we're going to see much later tonight. But notice tomorrow, it's cool and it's trending cloudier. Yesterday, it looked like more sunshine. Now it's looking like, especially from the city on south, it'll turn out to be a cloudy day. Maybe a couple of sprinkles down the shore and in Delaware. More sunshine in the north and west suburbs in the afternoon. Saturday, we'll have clouds and a few breaks of sun. Again, not the sunniest day we've ever seen, but a little bit of a break from the heat and you can possibly turn off that air conditioner as well, at least for the next two days. So temperatures right now are still in the 80s in the city in Wilmington, Dover and Millville. A little bit cooler where more clouds and showers have moved through to the north and west. Tomorrow forecast highs major departure. The high only hitting 70 here in Philly, only 66 in Allentown. Highs in the 60s in much of the region and down the shore where the clouds will be in place all day. It's going to be almost downright chilly tomorrow. Cloudy with an east wind off the water. So 70 degrees will be the high for your Friday. Then we jump back up to 80 for that Eagles game. Nice day for that 80 degrees, partly cloudy, warm and a bit humid. So two cool fall days. Then we're back to the 80s Sunday and we're going to keep it right around 80 right through Thursday of next week. Yuki and Natasha, back over to you. All right.